Hello and welcome back to the Saints FM series. As you can see, we're in February. Uh, let's just go over the games played. For our first match, we took a trip to Arsenal. They got off to a fast start with Martin Odegaard scoring. Unfortunately, Walker Peters did get injured, which adds to the misery of the season. And after that injury, we got absolutely dicked as we lost 4-0 with our shocking away form continuing. We then looked to bounce back as we hosted Nottingham Forest. We took the lead with Doig driving through and scoring, but just before the halftime whistle, we somehow gave away a penalty with Nottingham Forest scoring to make it 1-0. And into the second half, we retook the lead through this dodgy goal. We then proceeded to miss absolute sitters with Dia missing this. Stings then decided to get involved, and so did Sara. And Dia decided to miss another one. But luckily, we managed to get the three points, having 4.11 xG. We then hosted a Plymouth Argyle in the FA Cup. Plymouth took the lead after some poor defending from the corner. They then raced through to make it 2-0. Alcaraz had an instant impact off the bench as we pulled one back. Mara then raced through and shipped the keeper to bring us back level. But don't you worry, we still bottled it as Plymouth scored as we gave the ball away. As usual, as Plymouth made it 3-2. And that was full time, we got knocked out. And it's safe to say, I was absolutely fuming. We then took a trip away to Crystal Palace where absolutely nothing happened as we drew nil all. We then took a trip away to Bogey Team Aston Villa as they took the lead inside 10 minutes. We then got level with Pedro scoring this beauty. And then somehow actually took the lead as Sara scored. But in true Saints fashion, we botted it as Aston Villa scored in the 86th minute as we drew to all. Next up, we hosted Bournemouth. Pedro gave us the lead with this beautiful strike. And into the second half, Shea Charles made it 2-0 with the screamer. And that was full time as we got a good three points. We then took a trip to Brighton and it was an away game. So as expected, we lost with Vieira scoring and Matoma getting the second. And it was just a straight up poor performance as usual away from home from the Saints. Next up, we had Liverpool at home as Pedro continued his fine form with another dominating header. And 10 minutes into the second half, Mo Salah made Liverpool level. We were the better team, but unfortunately, we had to settle for a draw. And for our final game, we took a trip to Sunderland. Pedro scored again as we took an early lead. And funnily enough, only 40 seconds into the second half, we concede with former Saints player Silas scoring. But Pedro did it again as he beats the keeper from the header as we win 2-1 thanks to our Wonderkid striker. Now that you're caught up, it has been horrible. The season has continued poorly. We've had a little bit of an uptick in form in the last month or so, but still have no hope of making the top seven. We're already 20 points behind with only 12 games remaining, so that's not going to happen. Our best finish is most likely 11th because we're only one point behind Leeds in that regard. It's just been a really poor season. In terms of transfers, we haven't really done any except uh, one player who is William Pacho from Frank who is a very good player who we got for three who will be joining us next season. He's had a very good season at Frankfurt, averaging 7.3, which is very good. Um, so him and Bella Kochap are going to be the centre-back pairing for next season. He is a cover centre-back, and he plays on the left-hand side, which fits perfectly with our team. We also loaned out Dia because I can't stand this guy. He's loaned out to Leeds. If he plays five games, he gets bought for 32 million. But he hasn't played any games yet. So I'm a bit concerned they've just fucking mugged me off, to be honest. But he's been unbelievably bad and missed countless chances. And I've just had enough of him, to be honest. As there is only 12 games left of the season, I'm going to try and get it all done this episode just so we can end this season. Because really, we have nothing to play for. Relegation's not a threat. And we have no chance of getting in the top half. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes and try and pick up some form to sort of stabilize. Stabilize? Stab stabilize. Fuck if I can speak. Gavin Bazunu is still injured. Brilliant. All right, this is the team as we play away to Tottenham. Tottenham sit 10th. I mean, if we were to win this game, maybe we could finish top 10. But I don't really care about this season. I'm ready just to move on and plan for next season. We've basically got our A team fully except obviously Bazunu, but other than that, basically our A-team as we look to make something of the season. Pedro Montero is starting to pick up form. He has 11 goals in 19 Premier League games, which is good. I feel bad for him this season. If he had joined us last season as the player he currently is, he probably would have had a much better first season with us, but he's picking up form, and I can rely on him to score goals. It's a matter of this team fucking deciding to play well, but let's get into it and hopefully continue a decent run of form we have going. Back to Alcaraz. Alcaraz. Oh, it's off the bar. Unfortunate. Free kick for Tottenham. Pedro Porro scores. I mean, Tottenham really are just not a good team. Eh? Every time we play them, they're just so average. 
Uh, they've not really done anything this game either. And we normally suck away from home, so that's telling a big story. Uh, but we'll just go for it in the second half. We've got nothing to lose. The season's over already, so let's just fucking go for it. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, it's a good save. Nice, Dougal. The youngster wins it. Stings. Shea Charles. Lovely ball. Stings. Misses. Oh, my God. And one more problem that um, I probably would have shown in the match recaps. We can't score. The only person who can score is Pedro. Everyone else is missing absolute sitters. Stings has missed countless chances. D has missed chances as well. I mean, that should be one all. We should have got a point today, but Stings misses a sitter. And that's really been the story of our season. We're just not... We're either defensively awful or our front three cannot score. I believe that's our first ever loss to Tottenham as well as manager. Yeah, impressive unbeaten run against Tottenham is now over here. Yeah. I don't think we'd lost them in like eight games or something ridiculous. All right, we're playing Manchester City at home in the Premier League. Man City sit fourth with Arsenal leading the league with Liverpool, Brighton in the race as well. And Everton and Villa, really. It's pretty close up there. But for us, obviously, we're just getting through the season. We've got the A team. Let's just bloody go do it. Gavin Bazuna is back as well. He's finally back fit. I mean, he's probably one of the reasons, again, why we've been so poor this season because he's probably missed 10 games. And that's a massive amount of points we dropped in those games. All right, nothing's happened this game so far. It's nil all. We've been the better team just, but that's basically it. We've got a lot of the ball. And that is the whole story of the game. The first highlight of the game. Hopefully it's our one. <laughs> Shea Charles into Paulinia. Yes, yeah, Stings. 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 Misses. This guy is awful this season. Front of goal. Really poor. Shea Charles wins it. Alcaraz. We find Walker Pete as we can. Pedro's in the middle. He wants it. I know he does. Pedro! He may be offside. I don't think he is personally. And he isn't offside. It's in. It's the GOAT. Pedro strikes. Come on, baby. Oh, Doig, that's poor. You should have won that. And they've missed. How have they missed that? And that is three points and a clean sheet against Manchester City at home. Good performance. Pedro the hero, but the defense played very well. Our home form has started to improve a little bit uh, in the second half of the season, which is good. Our away form is still ass, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, we host Leeds. Leeds uh, just above us in 11th, so... I mean, that's really who we're fighting for this season. Newcastle played 24 games this season. What the fuck? Yeah, so we're just fighting for a level. The level at the end of the day isn't too bad of a finish, but let's just go out there and win. Adozi is playing on the left. Hudson is playing on the right because Kubo has just not had a good season. Stings is not having a good season. Yeah, yeah, let's just get into it. Adozi to Pedro. It's Pedro. He tries to play someone. Adozi. Adozi off the bar. Oh, my God. Nice. Hudson Adoy. Lovely. Lovely Hudson Doy still going. Can you play it across to Pedro? Hit the post. Oh my god, how are we not winning this game? I mean, I, I honestly expect Pedro to score those. But it's half time. We should be winning. It's nil all. Really poor how we're not winning. Hudson Doy with the ball in. At the back post, Alcaraz. Of course, it goes to the bloody short man. Nice ball. Sara. Pedro, I think, is offside. Yeah, he's been given offside. No, he hasn't. He's in. Pedro scores. I thought the flag is. Put his flag up. Come on, Pedro. Oh my god, like, Stevens, what fucking pass are you seeing, fella? You're seeing theories and fucking goblins, mate. What are you doing? Come on. Play it, yes, play it, Charlie. Now switch the play. Oh my Christ! Are we throwing? Uh, uh, now they've scored? They've scored? No, Bazunu? What is going on? I feel like we're about to concede here. Genuinely. I feel like we're doing some really stupid, like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> We can see the dumbest shit. I've just seen three absolutely brain-dead fucking decisions from this team. And we've, we've, we've bottled it. They've not had a shot on target all day. We've hoofed it long to Kubo. I don't remember us playing long ball. We don't play that. We've played it long to Kubo. Not our 200 centimeter striker, Kubo. Yeah, brilliant. Loof, hoof it long to him. Both center backs spread wide when we're definitely not going to win the head in those play through. I mean, it's just brain-dead. And it really is just stupid from this team as usual. And this is exactly the reason why we aren't we're not getting anywhere this season. Because of just stupid shit like that. Can we switch play, Colin? Switch it. Play line. Play line. Yes. Yes, Pedro is in. Is he onside? I don't know. No. Fuck off. Of course, man. We just don't have anything this season going for us. I mean, we've bottled another result. This is the same game as Burnley when we drew... It's ridiculous how we don't win this, and that sums up our season entirely.
All right, another game. We're playing away to Burnley, who are in relegation battle. Yeah, just get into it. <laughs> uh, A-team, no one's injured, no problem. So we'll just jump into it and bloody cook, hopefully. And halftime, nothing's happened. In, in, in casual Saints fashion away from home, we're just shit. Nice, Sarah picks it up. Sarah, he's going all the way. It's Sarah! No! Nice ball, Larios. Back to Adozi. Adozi, can you play it across? You're going for goal yourself, and you've hit the crossbar. Oh, my God. And it's another draw. Uh, yeah. I mean, 20 shots to seven. They didn't re They didn't have a shot since, like, the 50th minute. And that's two games against Burnley where I think we had a combined total of 45 shots or 50 shots over the two games, and we've not won either of them. So, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Well, Bella Kotchap's season is basically over. Awesome. That's fuck off at this point. All right, we play home to Brentford. Same team, except obviously Stevens comes in for Balakotchap, who's injured. Let's just, buddy, get this season done. Oh, give it away. Pedro, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Nah, 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 nah. This game is just, it's trolling. You're telling me my striker who gets the ball there is just not going to shoot? Yeah, I'm going to pass it outside the box. And the funny thing is... I've made him in the instructions, his player instructions now to shoot more often. There is no fucking way on the planet he'd pass that. That's just dumb. That's fucking annoying. Alcaraz wins it. hudson Adoy scores. Great finish from Callum hudson Adoy, And we take the lead. Walker Peters, off he goes. Walker Peters, what a ball. Pedro, it's wide. Well, this is an issue. Free kick for Brentford in a really good area. And it's in. Oh, this team this season is just so ass. Kubo's chance to score a free kick. It is a little bit further out. And, of course, it's like we only go where the keeper is. We never go over the wall anymore. It's really bullshit now. All right, we're drawing at halftime. Should not be drawing. It's just not good enough, but that's just how it is this season. hudson Adoy takes him on. hudson Adoy still going. Great ball. Pedro. No, it's well defended. Walker-Peters. Oh, for fucking... Where's the headering training? We need to do headering training. Walker Peters. Walker Peters. We're going to cross it again. We are. Pedro misses again. Oh my god. No one can hit it today. No one can hit. That is four very good headed chances and we've wasted them all. Walker Peters. Can you find Kubo on the run? You can. Kubo. Paulinia with the fucking worst finish I've ever seen. Alcaraz. Alcaraz still. Pedro this time. Misses again. This is outright. This team this season is outrageous. How are we not winning this game? Nice. Alcaraz. Can we find Pedro? Again, with a cross, probably. Yes, it's Pedro. Again, finally. And he's offside. I swear to God if he's actually offside. The one time he actually decides to put it in the back of the net. He's not offside. We score. Pedro, finally. You fucking use your head well. Fucking hell, man. Nice ball. Kubo to Alcaraz. It's fallen to Pedro. Who's been two-footed. Please don't be injured. Please don't be injured. Please don't be injured. He's been recarded. It's Harry Winks. Please don't be injured, Pedro. Please. I don't want that. Well, maybe we can get a few more goals. I mean, we've been very dominant in the second half. Now they're down to 10 men. Maybe we can get a couple more goals. I mean, look at the fucking spot. Just pass it, Stings. Pass it, please. You're not going to. I know you're going to shoot. Yeah, you're always going to shoot, but he could have just passed it, man. I love how we create about seven opportunities, real good opportunities. And then as soon as they go to down 10 men, create nothing. I love that. But that's full time. Uh, dominant display as expected. But we were wasteful in front of goal again. But we got the three points this time. And this is our youth intake. I'm honestly just not going to sign any of them. They're all actually fucking useless. Oh my god, they are you. Look at this. That is an embarrassment. Uh, we're not signing one of these fuckers. All right, next match, we host West Ham. This is how it looks at the table. We do sit 12, one point behind Leeds. Obviously, seven points behind Chelsea. Got no chance to catch them. West Ham do sit below us in the table, but they are a bogey team, so you know what that means. We're going to be fucking shat on today. But we've got the A team. Let's just bloody get into it. Bella Kotchap is back from injury, so that's a bonus. Brendan Rodgers is the West Ham manager. Interesting. Nice, Kubo. Good switch, Doig. Doig. Oh, it's a tap in for Kubo. Is it his first goal of the season? I really feel like it is. I'm not 100% sure, but he's really been not involved this season. But he scores here, and maybe he can find some form to end the season off. Nice play. Hudson Adoy to Pedro! I don't think he's offside. That looked like a brilliant run from Pedro. And it is, and it's 2 0. What a fucking run. Look at this. 
Look at that. He peels off and just darts in behind. That's that's exactly what we want from our striker. Beautiful goal. Well picked out by Hudson Adoy. He did just score his first international goal for Portugal, did Pedro. And he's honestly been in very good form the last half of the season. And here's a chance for West Ham. More power scores. First shot of the game. 40 minutes in. First shot of the game. They score. And that is why they are a bogey team. Alini into Alcaraz. Alcaraz wide to Kubo. Kubo to Walker Peters. Deflected Alcaraz, Kubo, what is this play? It's dodgy, what the fuck is going on? I don't know, can Doig find a pass? He shoots! Oh, brother in Christ. It's halftime 2-1, been utterly dominant. They've only had one shot so far. We just got to keep it going in the second half. Oh no, Warprow slips through Kudos, he scores. No, he doesn't, he hits the post, but he's offside. Good pressure, Sara. It's Pedro, it's Pedro, it's Pedro! No, it's a poor finish. And we've done it! We finally beat West Ham. Fucking Christ, about bloody time. Jesus Lord, but it was too close. We should have been away and gone by the first half performance by itself, but we'll take the three points and we'll take the win over West Ham. Finally, we're turning a corner in this season, about bloody time. So we have four players in the top 50 best wonder kids in football, and one of them is actually a Southampton born and bred man. Maley, who I've been keeping tabs on heavily. I've really tried to develop him. He's done well. He's got to speed up a little bit more, which is good. He's done well in League 1. He ripped up League 2. He's done well in League 1. Maybe get him into a championship team for next season, hopefully. And the other three we signed. All right, next game, same team. We're playing away to Wolves. Wolves are just below us, two points behind, away from home. Let's just get into it and get a win, hopefully. We've got six games left. Let's just, buddy, smash them out. Chance for Wolves coming for... Who the fuck? Terracciano? Ter what a name. Is he going to cross it? He is. And Baz has been a fucking idiot. Yeah, fair enough. Whatever. <laughs> oh, away game's just how it is, mate. Chance for Wolves. We're just letting him run. Yeah, really good defending, guys. Awesome defending. That's what I mean. It's just away games. We're just, like, brain dead, <laughs> apparently. All right, it's halftime. We're being shit. It is what it is. Hey, what well on, Pedro? Pedro is still going. Pedro is still going. Pedro is still going. Oh, Elkraz has scored. Pedro gets his first assist of the season. It's a lovely run from you, fella. Elkraz scores, and we're back in the game. And we lose. Uh, yeah, I mean, the reason we lost is because we were a bunch of fucking idiots in the first half defensively. So, I mean, it is what it is. I've completely given up on away games. I mean, it doesn't matter what system I play, what team I play. We just play like fucking idiots. So, it is what it is. We lose. Whatever. I'm, re I'm just... Make our way through the season. All right, just same team again. We're playing at home to Chelsea. I mean, if we were to win this game, we could potentially break into 10th maybe and catch them, but I'm not holding out much hope, to be honest. Ubo with the corner. It's uh, it's deflected in. Pedro scores. It may be an own goal. Wesley Fofana, own goal. Perfect start. Walker Peters floats one in. It's Pedro. No. Palenia from distance. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Unlucky. Set piece here. Hudson Adoy on the set piece. Plays it in. Collins! It's two. And look at the stats at the top left. Nothing's happened this game, but we're up 2 0. Beautiful stuff. And it's half time. There's been three shots in this game. There's been two goals. I'll bloody take that. Chance for Chelsea. They're going to whip the ball in now. Mwani! It's over. Ball in from Chelsea. It's a penalty. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, brilliant. And Nkuku, how do you say that? He scored. And the game's back on. That's what it is. Stings, are you fucking... Oh, my God. Stings, brother. I mean, I'm going to fucking sell you if you keep playing like this. I am. Because you're just playing stupid, mate. He was good in the when we signed him last season. He was good when we signed him last season. He had a good impact on the team. This season, he is just absolutely shit. He's just gifted them a goal. A penalty and a fucking gift from Stings. Unbelievable, this team this season. And Sam Rodozzi's injured. Brilliant. Here you go. Chelsea are going to win it here. From the free kick, Sephorza. Is he time-wasting? He's gone the wrong side. He's at the crossbar. He's a fuckwit. Yeah, nice, guys. Nice. Walker Peters, where the fuck are you going? Yeah, just on your own adventure, I guess. Bilbo Baggins-style penalty. <laughs> oh, my God. This season is just stupid, bro. This is what I mean. This is the main reason why I want to just get past this season. Everything goes against us this year. It is ridiculous. That's two penalties in this game and a gifted goal. 
Yeah, brilliant, mate. And he scored. We've lost. We've bottled it just due to us being absolutely stupid. Ah, oh, man. I can't wait for the season to be over. It is ridiculous. Yeah, well done, guys. Just fucking... You're just shit. You're just shit. All right. Uh, we're off again. Away to Everton. Yeah. <laughs> same team. I'm just playing the same 11 players every game uh, because I can't bother at this point. Ralph Arsenal. Fuck you. Nice, uh, Kubo. Alcaraz. What a goal. Carlos, where'd that come from? What a finish, and we take the lead, but I'm not going to celebrate until it's full time because these cunts are annoying. It's half time, we've been dominated, but we're winning. So let's just hope the second half we can hold on. Oh, they nearly scored. Great save, Bazunu. Oh, we're giving away again. Oh my god, bro. Just fucking score, Everton. The game wants you to score. It's given three shit giveaways. Go on, just put it in and we'll fuck it up. Yep, there you go. I mean, it's just, it's bound to happen. If we give the ball away three or four times in a highlight with some of the most basic errors possible, they're going to score. It's really that simple. And I've, I've, I'm past the point of giving a shit at this point. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Nice ball. Walker Peters, what can we do? Stings. Alcaraz, unlucky. And Stings runs it out. Stings, you, you may be on the fucking transfer list. Because what I'm seeing is a fucking disgrace from you. And we get a point somehow. We've been dominated. We get a point. It's so funny, right? This is actually what's quite funny about this. Is that last season, we were actually good in majority of the games. And would lose to these, like, West Ham. Lose to Villa. Lose to Everton. Get spanked by them. This season, we're shit. And we've gotten the most points off them. It's just fucking stupid, honestly. So Arsenal have won the league with three games left. They're fucking so far clear. The rest of the pack fell apart. Arsenal, the champs of the Premier League. So we've signed this guy. Uh, he's an absolute fucking crackhead. He's 19 and he's four and a half star. Centre midfield. Next season, I'm going to do a massive clear out. I mean, this season just told me there's players that aren't good enough, especially the backup players that are coming on or, you know, when someone is injured, they have to play a part in their shit. It's shown me that they're not good enough, so we're going to have a massive cull of the team. And this guy came up my scout report, and what a fucking player he is. Four and a half star at 19 years of age, very consistent performer at centre mid, and we really need our centre mid because our centre mid formation where we play the two centre mids and one defensive mid, a 4 for free, 4 free free holding, has just been awful. So we need a bit of quality in that midfield, and he's just unbelievable. So we've already got two major signings in for next season. We've got the centre back and we've got the centre mid. So Colin's season's over. So that's unfortunate, but who gives a shit? <laughs> and we've signed another crackhead from Norway. Uh, this guy's, again, just a fucking good keeper, to be honest. He's already prem level player at 19. He's already got 10 caps for Norway. He's very good. He's another wonder kid. Bring him in. Let's fucking stack the shit up. Honestly... I'm going to have to have a massive haul out because there's a lot of youngsters in the academy already and some of them are just going to have to go, really. This team is starting to get stacked with some really good high potential youngsters so we've got to sort of balance it out. I mean, our fucking reserves are starting to get stacked with some of them. But the likes of Mara is going to leave, Steven's going to leave, Adozi most likely will leave, Stings may leave because he's playing shit, Larios probably leaves, Sufa will probably leave, like all these guys will probably just get pushed away. And then we can get the younger players in, see who's, got, who, see who's good enough to sort of be in the team, and then find replacements after that. So it's going to be a long fucking into the season, that's for sure. Well, long transfer window, I should say. But yeah, playing against bloody Newcastle, the season's already over. We can't get into the top half, so we're just fighting for 11th place. Chance for Newcastle. Isaac misses. Big chance missed. Nice, that's in the Alcaraz. There is a midfielder to your right. Now nah, I'm going to try and pay it to the fucking striker. Like, that's what I mean. It's such basic fucking ideas that they're just doing so stupidly. Like, why not just play it to the guy right next to you? Now nah, force it to the striker who has no chance of getting there. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. All right, halftime, nil all. Boring game as usual. Shit performance. Classic. Nice pass, Dougal. And then Sara goes, yeah, have it back for no reason. He's never making that. But nah, good on you, Sara. Fucking excellent from you. Stings into Walker Peters. Walker Peters. Can he cross it into someone? Walker Peters. Lovely ball. Sting scores. Stings fighting for survival in this team, really. He's been very poor this season, but that is a good goal. 
Come on, come on, come on. Play him line, play him line. Or don't, Walker Peters. Good cross in. Pedro! Oh, it's just wide. He cannot get those crosses right at all. Walker Peters on the right-hand side. Crosses it in deep. Pedro again. Doig picks it up. Doig, can he cross it in? He does. It stings! He's got two off the bench! Stings with the tap in! Lovely play. Really good play. Lovely play. Look at this. Dougal to Sarah. How do you not score? Dougal deserved an assist for that. That was excellent. What? Bazunu, how do you let that in? Oh, here we go. We're going to collapse again. Fuck me. There is no way you should fail at getting that. Oh, we don't bottle it. Three points. I mean, every game is such a difficult game. It's unbelievable. We just can't cruise in games anymore. Like, we should never have conceded that goal. It made it a bit nervy at the end, but 2-1, we'll take it. All right, we've also signed this guy because in the contract, I had to sign someone from his club. I'm talking about the midfielder. This guy's actually good, though. Like, he actually has potential, and he's actually a pretty good player. So I brought him in for 6 mil because that other guy is, like, going to be fucking, like, messy. So we are got to make sure that he's happy. So we're bringing him in as well. But I'm not upset about that because he's actually a good player in 6 mil. I mean, we've got so much money to play with. It's really not much of a concern. All right, we are traveling away to Man United. This is how the table looks. I mean, we're four points behind 11th. Probably not going to get that. Five points ahead of Leeds at 13th. So we're probably just going to be 12th this season. United aren't going to get Champions League. But we're just going to go there and try and do something. United coming forward. Garnacho is in an unbelievable... This is what I mean. Away games. Like, fucking hell. No one is marking him. Like, what? Again, Garnacho somehow gets in behind our players. Hits the post. I mean, is someone just going to, like, bother actually defending against them? Like, I know it's a wild concept. Like, fucking hell. Yeah, Balakotchat wins the ball. Hoof it! Didn't realize that's what we were playing, lads. Like, what? We're supposed to be playing more position based, but I guess we'll just hoof it long every two seconds. Half time, we've been shit. Uh, yeah. Rashford with a chance to score. Oh, yeah, Bella Kotchap. The Rashford's running in on goal. Let's run away. Oh, man, I, I'm so glad we've only got two games left because this is just hard to watch, man. Seriously. Yeah, great pass, Doig. Really good stuff, lads. Just give the ball away again with a shit pass. Garnacho in way too much space yet again. Cuts in. And yeah. Yeah, just give them another one. This is what I mean. It's just a hard watch this season. Oh my god. Yeah, great defending, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Like, we don't have any luck this season. It's really that simple. Yeah. Yeah, that Kubo. That's a great idea, bud. We have people making runs on the wing, and he does that. It's just ridiculous. Adozi to Doig. Back to Adozi. He scored. Nice, Samuel. Nice, Garnacho just mugging us off again. We've conceded from kickoff. Yeah, sick. All right, full time spanked by United because this team can't defend. Uh, yeah, basically, whenever we play away from home, like, if someone has one XG they create, we concede two. Like, that's sort of how it works. We concede double the XG away from home. And then at home, we get good luck, really. Um, not often, but more often than the way, that's for sure. All right, final game of season at home to the champions, Arsenal. Thank God it's nearly over. This has been a tiring recording session, I tell you right now. I am over this. And I just want to battle through, because I know the transfer window of this season is going to be extremely long. So I wanted to get this out of the way, and then slowly work through the transfer window. Nice, Alcaraz. He wins it. It's Alcaraz. Misses. Good save, though, apparently, I guess. Pedro stands still with the ball, yeah. Yeah, and then Odegaard just runs through. Nah, it's excellent defending, yet again. Nice to it. That's an adoy to Pedro, to Alcaraz, to Kubo! That is brilliant. Hopefully it's not offside, because that was actually a really fucking good goal. He's offside. Of course, like, the best goal we score all season has to be offside, but probably, like, millimetre. Yeah, brilliant. All right, half time in a boring game. Nice, Alcaraz. To Kubo. To Pedro. 
Great pass, Kubo. Really good. You just stitched him up. And Elisa on the break. We'll score for Arsenal. And yeah, yeah, bloody sick. All right, well, it's 2-0. Um, I don't know why we do this, but we never play the wing. We never do it. We always force it through the middle. I don't understand this. Every time we can sort of play the fullback and then play the winger, we always go, play the striker. What? Like, again! Sufau is completely open! It is ridiculous, this team! He is completely and utterly open for an overlap. He's got no one even close to him. And Kuba goes, I'll play it inside to someone who's marked. It is seriously mind-numbing stuff, This these performances this season. <laughs> Fucking god, oh my god. Oh my god, like, where is Hudson or Doi going? Where else is he gonna fucking pass the ball to you, you idiot? Jesus Oh no, it's not, it's uh, a Dozy or something. Oh, Dozy loses it straight. Oh, fuck me, a Dozy. He, he wins it back, loses it straight away. Christ. This is just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Again, just the most brain dead decision making you could ever think of. Has <laughs> he did a penalty? <laughs> Oh my god, this may go down as our, no, this, no, this is our worst season ever at the club. This has just been, the amount of like four or five goals conceded a game has been astronomical. The defending has been atrocious, the midfield's been atrocious, and then we can't finish our, it's just a fit, like, you normally have like one season where maybe your defense is shit, maybe you don't score enough goals, it's like every single problem is just converged on this one season and that's the end of our season an absolute shit fest again oh mate massive changes are happening in the summer we're going to sell a lot of the dead wood a lot of the players that just simply are not going to perform consistently can fuck off uh obviously we're bringing in a lot of quality players i'm willing to spend a lot of money this summer um, I've been stingy with it for a lot of the time except the pedro signing has been the only one but he's guaranteed to be good i mean he was good this season I mean, I'm not going to blame him when he's been pretty clinical and our team's been fucking shit. End of season review. I mean, Pedro's obviously the GOAT. Pleased with the deal to sign Mickey Van Der Vaart. He was fucking shit. He was a panic signing. We had to sign him. I mean, we recovered from this really poor start to the season. Really poor start. We did recover, getting a few good results. Our home form carried heavily. We lost a lot of money this year, though. That makes sense because we were just poor. Doig apparently had a good season. Okay. But everyone else was pretty shit. Obviously, young player seasons, Pedro. Signing season, Pedro, obviously. Top scorer, Pedro. But fans play the season as Doig. Fair enough. So, mid-table again. That's good because we're going to have a massive rebuild this season. What? Our stadium's getting bigger? We're enlarging the stadium by 9,000 seats. Holy shit. That's a big increase. What does that mean? We'll be up to 40... 43k capacity or 42k? That's... Okay! What do you mean our facility... No, improve them now. Improve them now. I mean, I guess to be fair, we do sort of sell out the stadium every game. I mean, that is pretty impressive. I've done a fucking good job here. Every home game in the Prem is sold out. So I no doubt that the expansion is a good idea. That's good. There we go. The Saints are growing as a club. Yes, they're upgrading the facilities as well. The training. Yes. Come on, board. But you still won't give me an extra coach, though. Bunch of cunts. There is one thing I want to check. I just want to check our home record. Our home record, we salvaged it to be mid-table. Our away record, one of the worst in the league. Two wins away from home this season. And they were against Sunderland and Nottingham Forest, who were both relegated. Really need to sort that shit out. We scored, we scored 15 goals away from home, conceded 38. And here's something interesting. This really sums up our season. Now, in the XG, you can see that we've actually negative 10 expected goals. We should have averaged 10 more goals based off the chance we created. And that is the most in the league, bar last place Nottingham Forest. So we were the most wasteful in front of goal, except for Nottingham Forest. And then defensively, we conceded 5 over our XG, which is sort of, mid, like, it's sort of bad, but not, like, there's a few teams that are worse than us. So he got 5 less points than expected against the XG, which is pretty poor. But that sh a scoring one, 10 goals less of the XG, 
really shows it for me. Because if you want to be in the top, except obviously Brighton and Newcastle sort of got around what they are, we should have been up here. That was just interesting because, you know, there was a few games where XG was so high, um, either for us not scoring or the opposite, like we're conceding way more than we should be. So apparently I can't check the XG for other seasons. That's kind of sucks. I wanted to like sort of see it compared to the season when we did well and sort of see how different it was, but that's what it is. But that's going to be the end of the episode because I've recorded for three hours straight and I do not want to be here anymore. Um, I just wanted to really bang out this season, get it done. Because this transfer window, I am planning to probably sell a majority of the squad if I can replace them with better players. And there's a lot of youngsters to evaluate to see who we're going to sell. So I got a lot of shit to do. Uh, I'll see you boys in the next episode where it most likely would have been a very, very, very busy window. But I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode.